Welcome to westernslopenow.com. You're only able to see and hear on your smart device. Thanks for tuning in with us. You can make it a regular thing. We do this a couple times a day. Let's talk about low temperatures because today we are in between storm systems. We had that major system over the weekend. And by the way, snow totals for that historic storm, DIA, you know it as Denver International Airport, they ended up with 27.1. That still makes them the fourth deepest snowstorm or blizzard as you might refer to it as in uh, the Front Range history, in Denver's history at least, and the measurements taken out at the airport. Moving on, tonight we're going to add clouds late this evening, and that added cloud coverage will allow our low temperatures to actually go a little bit more mild. We're going 28 at Montrose, and granted, that is the typical low this time of the year, but Grand Junction, we're going to go in the mid-30s. We're supposed to be low 30s. I know it's not that much of a difference, but cloud coverage acts as a blanket, so all the heat that we've had throughout the day on Monday, we're going to retain that at the surface, and it'll make it for a mild start to Tuesday. But Tuesday itself is unsettled. We have this uh, minor, when you compare it to over the weekend, this minor storm system in from California. It's going to take a southern track. We are lowering our temperatures a little bit on Tuesday, but because of the high sun angle, I mean, we are in mid-March. We are getting warmer. Days are getting longer now. The average high temperature at Grand Junction is supposed to be in the upper 50s. For Montrose, it's the mid-50s. So Montrose will take a hit because this is a southerly tracking storm system. The San Juans, Wolfie, uh, the San Luis Valley, even over to Trinidad. That's where we'll see the better snow opportunities. This far north along I-70, uh, we'll be looking at a chance of rain showers through the better half, or I should say the first half of Tuesday. Mild temperatures, okay, slightly cooler than the average, absolutely. But it's only for Tuesday. This is our unsettled day. This is, again, a minor system it's taking a southerly track and it's going to be in and out rather quickly by Wednesday we get a ridge of high pressure building in Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday those two days right there you see the temperature anomaly upper 60s that's because we have that approaching storm system the next one coming for the end of the upcoming weekend another tracking system in from the west coast we should maintain breezy conditions on Saturday ahead of it. We should also get those mild temperatures. So that's where the temperature anomaly exists. Still, uh, though, warmer than the average. And we'll look at the end of this upcoming weekend. Start of next week, as of today, the timing will always change. But for the end of the weekend, the start of next week, we should get some spring storms rolling through here.